let's do let's find the solution set to this radical equation. First thing to do is to square both sides. Now remember when you square both sides you may introduce extraneous solutions. For example, if you said the square root of x equals negative 3 and you squared both sides, you would think that maybe x equals 9, but that's not true. So you can't you got to check your answer when you're done. All right, now what I'm going to do is subtract 2 from both sides, so I get 23, so x equals negative 23, and I can see that when I plug that back in to make sure it's not extraneous, that I get a solution, so that works. Let's try this one down here, letter D. Again, I'm going to square both sides, so that's x squared plus 5 equals x plus 5 quantity squared. Go ahead and FOIL that out. x squared plus 10x plus 25. Remember, you can't distribute the 2 into sum. Doesn't work. Now, I uh, let's move everything over to the right side, setting it equal to 0 because we have a quadratic equation. The x squareds are going to cancel out. You're going to get 10x plus 20, which means uh, 10x equals negative 20, which means excuse me, which means x equals negative 2. Let's check our solution. Plug in negative 2 here, plug in negative 2 there. You'll get 4 plus uh, 5, which equals 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. That checks out as well. So that is, in fact, a solution. And we're done.